So what's going on guys? So uh, the wife is having issues with her car. We're gonna pull the code and see if we can get her solved. Read codes. PO496. Evaporative emission system, high purge flow. PO496, I've done a little research. That is a generic code across all vehicles. Um, and the research that I've done basically says that it's the system that's reclaiming the fumes from the gas tank. And the way they do that is they'll have a tube coming off the gas tank that goes to a canister with carbon in it or something that'll absorb those fumes. And then there's a valve after that, between that and the intake, that opens and closes to suck those fumes into the intake and burn them up in the engine. I've already troubleshot this and found a faulty part, which does not mean it's the only faulty part in this system, but we're going to start with that and see what happens. But the first thing I want to do is try to clear this code and see if it's going to come back after I idle the engine for a little while, so that... If it does immediately come back, then I'll know that I've fixed it when I replace that part. We're going to read the codes again, and I have no DTCs. So, now we're going to start the car. The check engine light is off. And we're going to see how long it takes for the uh, code to come back. I drove the car around for about 30 minutes. Um, Speeds ranging from stopped at a red light to 65 uh, for probably 30 minutes. So I could not get the code to come back up. Now the issue with this particular code is it could be anything from a wiring issue to a loose gas cap or just a really mild leak that it finally had enough trend data to pop that code over time. So this, this code, depending on the issue, could come back up uh, immediately. Or if it was a really, really, really bad vacuum leak, then that would also make it come up pretty quick. But if it's something like a loose gas cap, that could take a day. Or if it's you know a really mild leak in the system, then that could take days, weeks, whatever. So I ruled out wiring. I ruled out a really heavy leak. But I did troubleshoot the part and find it faulty. All right, guys, so since everybody's engine is a little bit different, um, the way I found the uh, EVAP valve on the wife's car, the way it works, there's going to be a hose or a tube or a pipe or something coming from the gas tank. It's going to pass through that valve, and then from that valve, it will go to the intake or throttle body. So I just followed the intake tube back, and started looking for anything that was piped into it. And you can see this one here actually has a fuel flag on it. So this is going to be the fuel coming in. And then I have two more things ported in back here. So just starting from here, going that way, I started following those back to a part that would have a hose on either end or two hoses go into it and then a wired connection. And I found it back here. I've got it taken out where I can show it to you. So I've been driving this thing trying to get the code to pop back. So I'm going to try not to touch the engine. But... Alright, so there's the electrical disconnected. Then we need to disconnect the hose coming from the tank. So we have to trace which one of these is going to the intake. And disconnect the other one. One coming over here to the intake. Is this one right here. So this one in the back is the one we need to take out. Alright, so I'm still connected to the intake. So what I've got here, this is the hose going to the intake. I've got the control wire disconnected. And this is the side that would be feeding fumes in. So what I'm going to do is crank the engine, and with no control, this valve should just be closed. And then I'll put my finger over it and see if I feel vacuum. If I feel vacuum, then this part, according
according to the research I've done, is bad. I am getting some, some vacuum on that. So. You can see the vacuum's holding the paper. So this is the new part, and that should not pull a vacuum. And it does not pull a vacuum. Crank her up and let her feel the new part. All right, so running it without the part connected popped our code again. So I'm going to read codes. Now I've got a PO443 system purge control valve circuit. That was where I disconnected it from the valve. Yeah, emission control system purge control valve circuit. So that's the purge valve wiring that I disconnected while it was running, or then ran it. So we are going to clear the codes. Codes are cleared. Check engine light, she be gone. And we are going to read codes, and we have no diagnostic trouble codes. So, um, there you go. So those of you guys watching that are mechanics, feel free to chime in here in the comments. Um, let me know what I did right, let me know what I did wrong. Uh, if you have more advice to offer on it, um, I'm all ears. Leave me comments, whatever. There will be links to the research that I did before I attempted this uh, in the description of this video. So anyway, thanks for watching guys, and I will see you on the next one. See ya.